Before we do the unboxing, here's something juicy. They've lowered the price by $100. That's right. HD Zero goggles cost $495. If you've already bought them, you'll get $105 store credit, and they'll be sold only through the HD Zero store at that price because there's going to be no commission you know, to the store dealers. That's how they're going to be able to sell them to you that cheap. I do have a link below if you want to purchase these goggles. It is an affiliate link. I struggled with whether or not I wanted to do an affiliate link because I wanted to do an unbiased review. I didn't want making some money to affect this at all, but I, I genuinely like like these fucking goggles so i was like tight dude if somebody buys them through my fucking link i get a little bit of money i'll definitely fucking take that i ain't greedy you know all right they're here the hd zero goggles by hd zero divi math are you excited bro this is so exciting this, oh wait i actually i already op i already opened mine these are the goggles right here. These are the HD Zero goggles. They do not come with these uh, antennas. They don't come with the patches or stubbies or anything. You got to provide your own. These are the True RC patch and stubs. They're fucking super nice. Like most people have these just because they are a crazy good combination for these particular goggles. Let's take a look at them. There's plenty of other reviewers that are going to be doing all the technical specifications of these. I'm interested in do they freestyle. I want to see how well they do for my style ripping. So let's just take a quick, quick look at them right here. They got the little diopter adjustments, which are pretty nice. They're a little more sensitive and get, you know, out of out of whack a little easier in your bag, but not too fucking shabby at all. To put on your patch antennas, you can print these things. These are already on Thingiverse. And as you can see, it has these little cutouts for the SMA to go in. It's super easy to get antennas in and out. I do like the design. I do like the design, how you can use the patch and the, whatever antennas you want on the top. It also includes this fan and the buttons right here are just a little scroll wheel that you can press in and this button right here that I used to record my DVR. You have an HDMI out, an audio jack, a firmware updater, and HT. I forget what that is. I'll look it up and put it on the screen. And on the other side you have an HDMI in, your SD card slot, and an AV jack. It comes with two of these face plates and one piece of foam. One of these is wider than the other. I guess I have a more narrow face so the wider one fits me perfectly perfect so the wider one fits me perfect and bro there's no light leak like literally i have my little studio light right here there's no light leak in these things whatever using this face plate as far as comfort factor i'm gonna give these a 9 out of 10 not a full 10 just because they are they do feel a little bit heavier they're not bad but you do feel the added weight on your face versus like the orcas which is what i'm used to they are just a bit wider when you compare it to something like the orcas they're definitely more which is low profile they're less thick you know what I mean? It's got an on and off switch, which they recommend to use so you don't get any voltage spikes when you plug a battery in. The fan on it is a little obnoxious. I think this is like 5 out of 10, maybe 7 out of 10 right here. But as far as the physical goggles themselves, I really do like how easy they are to use. I like the simple two button setup with the scroll wheel that you can also press in, the one press DVR record button. It also does automatic recording, but I like to press it. Everything on them is pretty much just a joy to use. They fit really nice. Like, I am a fan. I am a fan of the goggles themselves. But the question I see everybody asking me is how does it handle analog? What is analog like on this? This is the analog adapter right here. It doesn't come with the cover. I'm using the Fusion, so I just 3D printed this. But the stock Fusion cover, I believe, will work on this. You insert the module, and it kind of clicks. There you go, you got your analog module on your goggles. In the box, besides the faceplate, it also does come with one of these cables for your battery, because they you really should just run 4S on it, 5S maybe. It says it can take 6S, but I guess don't do 6S, uh, whatever. Goggles just don't really like 6S. It also comes with a quick start guide and a few little things. I don't know where the fuck any of it is, or uh, I'd show you, I guess, obviously. Oh yeah, one thing I want to add real quick, HD Zero breaks tradition. Everybody usually includes one of these little like goggle cases, right? Fat Shark, everybody's always done that. Well, HD Zero gives you a bag. They give you a little bag, like instead of a, a hard goggle case, it's pretty nice. Like the inside of it is all like velvety and shit. It does, it does, dude, it feels really nice. Bold move, HD Zero, including this. I can only assume it's so you can put like railroad spikes in it or rocks or something. That way when you're flying and somebody comes to try to take your HD Zero goggles, you can just fucking beat them over the head with it. Uh, there's a bunch of words that they wanted me to say, but I don't want to say them, so I'm just going to put them on the screen, and then we're going to jump into an analog test, and I'll show you how analog video looks on this thing. All right, so this is literally like the first day I got the goggles. I went out, I started flying analog with it. Excuse all this wavy bullshit. This is from my VTX not having capacitors on it because they all blew. But what this is supposed to do, the new deinterlacing mode, it's supposed to cut down on the jumpiness, like the staticky of a DVR looking signal and the lines in it, the bullshit lines. Now we saw a few going through that tunnel. You can see them kind of creeping up, but I feel like this is good. I feel like this is honestly really good DVR video. Here I am testing out the limits of it. 
no breakup, no breakup whatsoever. Like I said, ignore those squiggly lines. That's just the freaking 1.5 watt VTX being lame. There's a little bit of line there on it. You know what I mean? I think it's actually only on 500 milliwatts. So, you know, whatever. Just I have no capacitor. This looks good, though. This looks good. Imagine if these stupid wavy lines weren't there. You would have some of the cleanest analog DVR you'd probably ever seen. A little bit of breakup. Let me, let me show you another example. Let me get, let's switch to a different spot. So this right here, we should be getting a lot of multi-pathing. This is an entirely metal structure. This is just an all metal thing that somebody's building. And again, no little, ignore the little wavy lines, just, you know, the static, the breakup, the typical analog signal, I'm going to say does look a lot better here. Now you do get the little lines across the screen, but I feel like the other random shit, like here it is a little bit more. See that little random shit. That's what analog, I guess, more looks like to me when it breaks up. But I feel like the deinterlacing mode really is cutting down on that it doesn't seem to gradually do it it seems to either cut down on it or not it comes and it goes you know what i mean here we are on the top antennas everything being blocked by metal i think this is pretty good i think for a newer way of doing analog this is working out this looks pretty good let's go check out the hd zero side of things and the thing that the interlacing is supposed to do is to make the analog look less jumpy and also get rid of a lot of the lines and static that you see in it. Did it look better? I don't know. You let me know. Did it look better than other DVR that you've seen? Does this new deinterlacing and less jumpy DVR recording of analog look better? I'll leave a comment below. I'm curious to see what you think. All right, now let's check out the HD Zero video on this. I have these two patch antennas and stubbies. I've been flying this. I get pretty dang good video on this. Man, I'll tell you right now, I do like it, but let's go and take a look at the DVR capture that I got for the HD zero system okay, so this here was one of my very first flights on these goggles on this system with this quad i want to show you a couple of things here i'm going to go behind this little concrete shit when i do a dive and i want you to see how the video it looks just fine watch this i'm going to dive behind here minimal breakup very very minimal breakup that's super acceptable now here in a minute i'm going to do it again and it's going to look a lot worse i'm not sure why in the exact same spot it would break up a lot worse now look at this all right, see that was that was a lot more breakup, but that wasn't that bad. That was very fly throughable. In this hallway section right here, compare this to the analog, how it was breaking up, and I feel like it's sort of similar. Analog just has a different breakup pattern than HD0 does. HD0 does these little rainbow squares like this, whereas analog just has a bunch of lines and more analog looking static because this is a, a digital system, you know what I mean? But this right here, when the signal is locked on, this is some great freaking video right here. It's cloudy outside. It's not a nice day at all. And this video is still clear and looks super nice. There's not like overbearing shadows or anything like that. And all this static that's coming up, I can fly through that pretty well. I'm not having an issue with it. Let's take a look at another clip. This is that same building that we did the second analog clip on and look how you can see we're definitely getting some more breakup being behind all this metal and away from myself and everything. But like I said, completely fly throughable. Like this breakup is not bad. Me not being used to HD zero, there was a couple moments when I go a bit farther out where it broke up and I was like, oh, this is sketchy, but it has the latency feel of analog where you kind of just trust your signal to come back as long as you can get a clear line of sight or something. See, I'm standing over here kind of by the cars. Once I get a little bit more deep into the building, you'll see it starting to break up. But during this entire flight, I felt like I was in control the whole time. I didn't feel like my video was hindering me at all and the first time i flew hd zero i was like oh man that breakup like what's going on here but now that i know to trust it and expect it to break up like analog i definitely have a lot more confidence flying the system like it's just if you get a little bit of breakup it's going to come back once you go around that corner or whatever i'm not too used to most digital systems that stutter and lag so it's still kind of look at those water down there it's a death pit i don't know why i did that but I'm not used to that stutter and lag, so my confidence isn't there. With a system like this, it feels more like analog, which I'm super used to, so my confidence is there. I'm like, okay, cool, it's breaking up, but this video is most likely going to come back once I'm done doing this thing or whatever I'm doing. So this is pretty cool. This felt really good. The video, compared to the Shark Bite system that I used, is a ton better, man. This is really, really nice HD system video. Not too bad. I'm legit. I'm legit impressed with the advancements they've made in this technology. When I flew the very first shark bite system, I was like, bro, this is fucking shit. This, this is, got, why would anybody fly this? So I don't know. Personally, I think that looks really good compared to what it did look like. HD zero just keeps getting better and better. Now, for those of you that fly digital systems, normal, well, this is digital too. I'm going to fuck that up. 
The difference between this HD0 digital system and DJI and Waxnail is when DJI and Waxnail start getting a weak signal or start struggling, it'll stutter and kind of lag, you know what I mean, and start fucking with your variable latency on there. With HD0 and analog, you get the same latency, you're just gonna get shit on the screen basically. With analog, it's the lines, it's the distortion like an analog television signal, and with HD0, it's pixels, because it's digital, so you're gonna get little rainbow squares and shit. Now, I will say the first time I flew this, that kind of breakup on the HD Zero system, the rainbows, it messed with me. I was like, oh man, like what if this just goes out and doesn't come back? But as I've been testing the system, it's pretty much as reliable as analog. If your signal starts to go to shit and you can fly through it and get somewhere better or, you know, punch your quad up over the obstacle that's blocking you, the signal comes right back, like in a jiffy. But I'm just used to analog. A lot of you people haven't even flown analog. You grew up with digital or whatever the stupid fucking, you know, grow up with digital. You start flying on a digital system and you're used to that. There's nothing wrong with that. For me, I like analog. I like it breaking up and then coming back, not stuttering and then coming back. That messes with me. And that's strictly because I haven't flown a lot of like those types of digital systems before. So HD zero protocol aside, just these goggles, I don't know yet if they're gonna be my new goggles. I'll tell you, I've been using them for the past, I guess it's been two weeks now, actually. I really like them. I really do like them. I just stick them in my bag. They fit in there just fine like my Orcas. They don't have the case, which I'm like, oh, it's a little sketchy, but whatever, I guess let's see how durable they are. So honestly, as of right now, I'm gonna give them a few more weeks to see if I do wanna switch them over to my main goggles, but they've been doing just fine, and I see no reason why I wouldn't adopt these as my new goggles. They, they look great. The analog looks great on them, the screens look great. The HD Zero, just you know, the actual way they're displayed in the goggles, it looks fantastic. The fan works super well. I like the switch, I like the ergonomics of them. I love the UI in it. Everything is just where it should be, and it makes sense. I do really, really like that about them. And this is like the new goggle to come out, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be supported, and there's gonna be a bunch of updates for a while now, or because I do love my orcas but i feel like they're they've kind of gone quiet and i feel like that's not really that bad because they will be making new stuff but like orca what's up where's your new system what's going on I will say this though, reviewers don't get these goggles for free or not, I didn't in any way. You get a slight discount and I will be paying the money for them, right? I'm not gonna either send them back, you pay for them. I will be paying for them because I really do like these. As far as HD Zero System and does it freestyle, I'm gonna put out a video this Saturday. So go ahead and come back to this channel this Saturday if you wanna see, hey, how does Bach Grinder handle an HD Zero System ripping? A little, like last year, whatever, Slap put one out and the video did not look that promising. It did not look that great, but what I've been experiencing is pretty damn good. So if you want to see like good HD zero freestyle in a giant metal structure uh, that video will come out on Saturday it's out for patrons right now already speaking of cults have you joined my top tier patreon yet the say my name tier big old shout out to Billy Hackett Boris the German Fred 805 J Rod FPV Juicy FPV Lucas Roca Maddie B FPV Netcat FPV Patrick Martin Stompy FPV Trent TT FPV Tuan Solo Volleytronics and HempandFriends.com for being my top tier MF and patrons thank you very much y'all if you want me to say your name every single week and you want stickers in the mail you want to post your videos for my friday night live stream i do every friday battle challenges and everything else become a patron or not it's your money do it maybe just buy some more drone straight or whatever i'm gonna get the fuck out of here thank you very much hd zero for letting me review this product um i'm definitely going to keep them so let me know where to send the money i definitely want to keep these goggles thank all of you very much for watching this video i promise next time will be better maybe probably okay bye It's not only a system, it's a cold or something, right?